All right, so Inspiration Wednesday is starting later today. I taught a workshop, my first workshop, at the new studio for a really cool bunch of local ladies. It was a good time. And uh, just lost track of time, started playing. So I am starting Inspiration Wednesday late. I have no idea what I want to do, but I'm just going to just sew this, and hopefully, as I'm working through it, some kind of idea comes to me. I don't even have any, like, basic, like, I want to use this or whatever. So, let's just sew this, come back. Hopefully the ideas start flooding in. All right, I'll be back. I know I just did it, but I think I'm going to go in and layer some masking tape. Just kind of random. I don't care what texture I get in there, but I guess the only thing I felt like using was masking tape. Not that I'll like it, but this is the one thing staring at me. And I think I'm just going to layer it randomly. I might not go edge to edge and small pieces, large pieces, and then we'll just see what I got. And then maybe we'll add some paint on top of that or something. I'm not sure. Okay, got some tape layers on there. And now I'm thinking, let's go, let's go dark. Let's go anthraquinone blue. Oh, I got some new colors. Let's see what I got over here. I got a whole big box. Wait till you see this. I'm bringing this over. I just brought this home from the studio today. Look at that, look at that, the new teal. It's clearly not the same. Where's my other bottle of teal? See, I know with a naked hot eye, you can't tell that there's a difference. I know there's a difference. But um, I, I went for it. Look at me taking the plunge. Um, so maybe I should use some of these. I did get new colors. I got cadmium yellow, medium hue, which I've never used before, and yellow, opaque. I got phthalo green. That's nice. Oh, then I got my anthraquinone blue. I really like that one. All kinds of stuff. Re this is replacement stuff. All right, so maybe I should use that. Diary Light Yellow. Maybe I should use some of that. I'm clearly now just wasting video time. You're just watching me now empty a box, which is nice. All right, put that over there. All right, so, oh, look at me making texture on my pages. Maybe I should just go green. Maybe I'll just go phthalo green, blue shade. Why not? Use my fingers. Probably use some gesso too. I'll just use my fingers for now. Oh yay. So while I've got that green on there, what color should I put with it? Another cool color. I say teal. Let's use teal for the first time. Oh, it's not the same. Oh. I'm going to get over it. I'm going to try to get over it. It's not the same, though. No. I love you, Golden. I'll miss you, Teal. little bit of a what if moment. It could go badly. That's okay. I'm all right with it. So, um, Diary Lied Yellow. It's one of my favorite pan pastel colors, so I thought why not get it in paint. And Cadmium Yellow Hue. Those are the two colors I have there and a bit of white. And of course you see all those other colors, but those wet ones right there. Um, and a key card. What if I take it and just... wondering what the hell are you making I could wonder the same thing I have no idea I just wanted to play with paint yeah I don't know what I'm doing yet at this <laughs> wow this could go badly it's okay I'm rolling with it I don't know what I'm gonna do next so I'm gonna have to walk away for a minute perhaps eat something and come back so this is where I'm at I tore a really ugly heart I'm thinking I'm gonna glue it down I might even um yeah I'm gonna glue that down I'm going to gel medium it down, actually, because I think I'm going to paint around it, and I don't want the paint to seep into it. 
Uh, yeah, it can't really get much worse, can it? Possibly. So let's just, oh look, animal suffering on the back of that piece of paper. Put it like that. And we're just going to gel medium that down. That should dry clear. Oh, I should get some yellow there. And uh, hopefully when that dries, I'm going to do some kind of painting around the outside of it. We'll see. But uh, that's what we have. And I'll be back when it's dry. So here's some crazy talk for you. I'm going in with quinacrona magenta and permanent violet dark. Purple. Purple. I'm going in and doing it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go around the outside of this first to see where I get. I kind of envision it kind of fanning over here, if that's kind of understandable. I might need to use some gesso, but I'm just going to go in first. This is the quinacrona magenta. I can't tell you why I'm doing it because I'm not really sure. So you're just going to have to trust me on the whole thing. Because that's what I'm going on. Blind faith. Ooh. And um, I'm going to add a little bit of gesso to this. Just to make it a little bit more opaque. Because even though I want to see some of that background, I don't really want to see all of it. And I can kind of work in layers with this where I can have that light pink now because I've mixed it with the white. And then also blend it on top. Alright, so I kind of feel like I have this fanny idea going. Fanny, huh? That's funny. Funny for all my Brits and my UK people over there. Not a fanny. Fanning. that just a little and now I'm going to just kind of continue I've got the permanent violet here and that should add like a shadow I always say colors need a sister friend so that's why I picked the violet with the magenta I think they look nice together I know I said it out loud yes I must like violet Now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it a little bit with some water and see kind of what I get. I'm not sure what to expect. Anybody else wondering where the hell I'm going with this? I know I am. Alright, so I, I kind of like it, believe it or not, I kind of like it. But what I don't like is some of that green showing through. So. I keep looking at the blue, the anthocyanin, and I keep going pretty, pretty blue. So I'm, I'm just gonna go in. I don't want to cover everything, but I'm gonna give it a little blue, a darker shadow. How's that? Just to cover up a little bit more of the green. I think it's the green and the yellow that is just screaming, the colors of my elementary school. you can see it. I dropped my clicker on the floor. Um, but in the text, clearly you can't see it. Let me zoom in. What am I talking about? By the way, I am getting a new camera. It should come tomorrow. I spent entirely too much money. My husband was so pissed off at me um, that I spent that much money on a camera, but I couldn't work with this one anymore. Just couldn't. I need it for my blog readers. All right. So do you see that's an experience endured right there? I'm going to kind of highlight that by um, putting white in the heart and trying to fade out around it. So I'm going to use my finger and clearly my finger is clean. So I'm going to just, oh look it's making purple. I don't really want purple. I'm going to go wash my hands because clearly I don't want purple. That's just crazy talk right there people. 
All right, let me wipe that off. I'll be back, I gotta wash my hands. Shall we try this again with a cleaner finger? All right, let's do that. So let's, I kind of don't want to white out the whole thing, but I do want that to stand out. It might be crazy enough to say that I'm starting to like this a lot. A lot, a lot. I don't know what else to put on it. Like, I'm assuredly, maybe it doesn't need anything else. Like, maybe, maybe that's just it. Maybe that is my experience in Dork. Although I feel like there needs to be something over here, like a, a quote written in white or, or one word or, or something, something. I really like it. Who knew? All right, I'll be back with hopefully another idea. I, I really don't want to put a lot on here. I really like the colors. I'm really happy with it. Um, I don't know if you can take it all, and it's so hard to show this, and I have no idea if the lighting's good, and this camera really does bite. Anyway, so um, I was looking through book text, and I'm still cutting out of Omnivore's Deliver, which, again, I'm going to say is the worst book I have ever not finished reading. So, um, yeah, there's not a whole lot in, in here, but I found the sentence or the two words that say complete transcendence. And I kind of thought that went with this. It might be a little too emotionally deep, but who cares? That's just the kind of person I am, emotionally deep. Anyway, I'm thinking that I just kind of want this here. Just boom, done. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to, do I want to gel medium it? I think I'm gonna gel medium it. So let me get my brush. And I might use a cleaner brush, just because that one's really, really colored. I don't really want any more color on it. So I'm just gonna put that there. That there. And let that dry. And uh could do something around it. I don't know yet. I think I'm just gonna let that dry and I'm gonna come back and, and see how this all resonates with me. But this might, yeah, I love the colors. I'm gonna do a whole canvas like this now. But um, I'll be back in a minute just to see. I'm gonna put my date on there somewhere. And uh, yeah, all right, I'll back. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some of that um, blue, if I can get some more blue here. And I'm going to just go around here just so it doesn't look so weird just sitting on there. Make it look like it kind of comes out of something. Try not to cover it up. Okay, but that's a good point because I put gel medium on it. I can actually wipe it off. Should be able to wipe it off with a little bit of water. Yeah, so that's a good point. If you use gel medium, you can kind of make mistakes. Put that up there. Bring that over to the side. See if you can't clean it up just a little bit more. So this is what I decided. I decided I'm going to do the date stamp on my tag here. And uh, I'm not going to tear it. Maybe I'll tear it. Change my mind a million times. I'm not colorizing it because I'm going to put it on the back here. So you're really not going to see it. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to tiny attach that sucker here. And then I'm going to call this page done. I'm just going to, yeah. Three, because you know they're not too happy. All right, I'm gonna call that page done. All right, I am really kind of happy with the mess that ended up being um, really cool. So the only lesson I can say this week is try something new, because who knows, you know, sometimes climbing back out of that hole you dig for yourself can end up in a happy place. See you next week. <laughs>